Reading the air quality health index like this one on your phone is becoming more important than ever as wildfire smoke becomes more prevalent. But did you know it might not be as accurate as you might think? A lot of it depends on where you live. Wildfires release tiny health harming particles smaller than a human hair that can penetrate your lungs and enter your bloodstream and negatively impact your health. However, the index is based on everyday pollution like car engines. It analyzes various pollutants in the air and gives you a rating from one to 10 so you can assess how those pollutants might affect your health. While the index does look at that fine particulate matter, the calculation for measuring it along with other pollutants meant it wasn't being picked up as accurately, making the overall AQHI lower during major smoke events. This was really clear during the 2017 BC wildfires. People would find that they were having smoke exposure and when they checked the AQHI it might say two or three, which means that the air quality is good. And that's something I've noticed here in Toronto when the sky looks looks pretty hazy, but the index says the air quality is only moderate. I want to go back to 2017. After that record-breaking wildfire season in BC, Environment Canada and the BC Centre for Disease Control realised they needed to measure that tiny matter hour by hour, as even slight changes in the wind can drastically affect the air quality. They came up with a new calculation called the Enhanced Air Quality Index, or the AQHI+. It better assesses air quality during a wildfire. BC piloted the system in 2018, and it's since been rolled out across Canada. But not every province is on the same page. Environment Canada told us that Alberta, Ontario and Quebec all use different methods. We reached out to those provinces. Alberta says they use an index that was developed with a comprehensive evidence-based system that is specifically tailored to our province's needs and that they work with Environment Canada to make sure their indexes are aligned. Ontario told us that they are currently working with Environment Canada enhancing the AQHI program, so they don't yet use the AQHI+. Quebec's system is different again. They rate air quality on a scale from 1 to 50 plus based on the percentage of pollutants that occur every day. They also analyze that fine particulate matter too. These scales do look at the impact of air quality on your health, but they are not all the same. We need to keep up to date with the way Canadian air quality is changing. I would describe what we've done in BC as maybe a band-aid solution until nationally we have the conversation necessary to think about what the AQHI needs to be into the future. Do you have questions about how wildfire smoke is affecting you? Let us know in the comments.